Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to give you an overview of Google Sites. So why am I in Google Drive? Did you know you can create a Google Site right in a Google Drive folder? right there by clicking new and then more. And that would keep you organized by having the site right in the Google Drive folder that it pairs with. Having said that, we can also go to our apps launcher and go find and grab and move sites as well. We click on that and we get to sites.google.com. You'll notice there is a template gallery and at a school, if you click your school here, your school might have some templates, um, but the templates include student portfolio. So students can start a digital portfolio right there using that template if they care to. We'll just start from scratch and click on blank and you'll notice all the sites that you've worked on are listed here and you can do it by list or by thumbnails. We'll click blank to just start a new site and I'll just show you some of the basic features. All right, so at the very top of your pages, will be a header. You can change your image uh, by uploading or selecting an image. I'll just quickly select one here. All right, so let's go with, uh, let's go with this one right here. And it adjusts for readability. You can turn that off, but you probably should just leave that on. on. Your fonts, any Google Workspace font at all you want. There you go. Uh, we'll just type home and we can change that header type to be uh, a cover, a large banner, just a banner. Uh, or title only, but I, I recommend having at least a banner. So we'll go with that banner and we will give it a name. We'll just call this demo. All right. Now, uh, what we can do over here on the right, before I get to the insert menu, we'll just add some pages. So I'll add um, page one. And, and then we will add uh, page two. I mean, there's other things we can do, but let's just do the basic new page, page two. Now let's say we want page two to be a sub page uh, of page one. Here under page one, you can add sub pages or you can actually just click and drag. We drag it till it's under page one. There we go. And then on the menu, notice it does that. Um, so that's something that you can do. Let me just go back to home. And here under the insert menu, there's all sorts of good stuff, including your text, your images from Google Drive. That's where you're gonna get your Google Drive files that you can add. Make sure they are set to be visible to uh, you know, anyone with the link can view so that people can see into your drive um, and you can do embeds. For content blocks, if you have two slides presentation side by side, you'll wanna use um, these layouts here and then boom, you click on that and you have these options. Uh, lots of other things here, including collapsible groups, image carousels, buttons, uh, you can do uh, spacers. There's lots of good stuff. Uh, sometimes a divider actually can be very helpful to just kind of break up some things. Um, but you have all YouTube, calendar, forms. Basically, if it lives in your Google Drive, you can add it. Uh, the one last thing I'll show you in this overview is that you have themes. And there are the basics here. And so each one of these basics has three font styles. Uh, so what that means is that the basic, you know, the created by Google, there's basically 18 of them. Um, and you can change that color to be any color you want, any hex code, anything you want uh, that you can have that uh, as the color. But you can also create a custom one uh, or import a theme from a different website or uh, that you've already worked on. Um, but or you can create custom and go through the steps there. And that gives your site a theme. Now, as far as adding collaborators right here, this button right here, uh, you can add some settings, including your um, brand images, including a logo and a favicon. The logo will go right here next to the title. The favicon is what users will see right here. Uh, so they don't see the, the Google Sites icon. I, I recommend making a favicon in Google Drawings and then uh, uploading it uh, for that purpose. Additionally, we have undo and redo, uh, our ability to share with others. The three dot uh, gives you a version history, which is nice. Here's your publish. Um, publish, you know, you want to save that to the very end, but you can do that. I like when you click on that, you get to see what, what's changed. It's kind of, you feel a sense of accomplishment. The one last thing I'll show you is this preview button. And the preview shows you what your site will look like. Oh, wow, so exciting. On a conventional large screen, you know, laptop or desktop but then also on a tablet and on a phone, because how many people will be looking on a phone? 
Um, with the phone, I like it does this little menu thing there. It's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, but and then you get out of that and you're back in the editor. So that's an overview of Google Sites. Um, if you like this video, please uh, click like. Uh, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have questions about it, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Thank you so much for watching.